Welcome back, everybody. I'm Bray from Bravity Gaming with Monster Prom. It is week two. I'm this cute little Oz guy. He's so sweet. We're going after Liam, who is the purple-haired freak. And he's a nerd. I don't know why I keep calling him a freak, but we love him. It's fine. All right, so uh, our stats are doing... They're, 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 they're doing all right. Um, I think... I'm going to up my creativity, so I have to go to the auditorium. So let's go. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you aren't especially good nor inspired. For once, it seems you aren't getting that classic creativity boost from the auditorium. But afterwards, while taking to... But afterwards, while talking to your classmates, you're having trouble conveying your point in a discussion. So you decide to convey it through music! You start singing, and suddenly everyone else joins you in a kick-ass musical number. It's so amazing that the people with whom you are arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. You gain plus two creativity. I love it. Oh um, man, it's like High School Musical or just, or really any musical where it's just like you bust into song and people just know what's going on. It's both maddling, madding, mad, maddeningly insane and amazing at the same time. Against the unexpected, you spot Scott and Liam engaged in what seems to be an intense conversation. They seem, they seem so into it that you can't resist the urge to ask them what's going on. We're discussing this recent novel, Two Lights. <laughs> it isn't a novel, it's a rare movie with lots of cool dudes with amazing abs. Well, well, it's actually based on a novel, and it's anything but rad. It's cultural trash. But I decided to like it ironically. See, the thing is, there's this human girl with two guys who like her, but the guys are part of two enemy human races. The, the weird shirtless humans and the mysterious deep looking giving humans. And it seems those types of humans can't stand each other. Oh, and the deep look giving humans shine in the sunlight. Did you th know that actually a lesser known trait of some humans? Yeah, that albino really fucking white people like myself. One time I was I was working on it uh, on a painting and I, my hand accidentally moved into the sunlight and like the the canvas lit up. Uh ever since I've been trying to get a better tan. <laughs> the thing is, the next movie will be released soon and we're super hyped. <clears throat> Ironically, we can't wait, bro. Oh, he's a bro, do bro. Okay, never mind. I'm giving him the wrong the wrong voice. We need to set has Sate? That, that's not Sate, is it? We need to sate our hunger for two lights! This is your opportunity to show these two you're well versed when it comes to sating the urges. Wink, wink. Go for it! Let's cosplay, let's go shirtless, or we should write a nuanced play based on it. Totally not fanfiction. Honestly, this is what Liam's gonna want, so let's go. Oh, I see. A nuanced. Yes, involving the characters of two lights, throwing a new light <laughs> over their fears and desires. Over their abs! Yes, yes, sure. With an unexpected twist that will elevate the strengths of the original OVR. Something subtle yet powerful. Something like the rival humans ditching the girl and fucking each other's brains out. Yes, I like that. It's artistic! Because of reasons i love it they're gonna they're gonna do it on stage though and if they're nude that means more muscles and stuff yeah bro i like it sure it sounds a lot like high form of art and nothing like thirsty fanfic you're you're some kind of promoter of the arts you gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts fuck yes we are gonna make the best fanfiction play we will sell a million t-shirts. Though I'm not sure how we're going to do that, seeing how the high points could be nude. Eh, there'll be a new art form. There'll be a new uh, fad where we promote nudism. It's an art statement. You find Polly and Liam not eating, as usual. You know, because they're undead. You know, the food in this cafeteria really is atrocious. It's something even... I, it's hardly even eat worthy of my Instagram. <laughs> what? I won't even eat the food. Because my midsection is so small, it's see-through. 
<laughs> the question, why aren't her legs? Like, did she just want to make her stomach see through? Not the rest of... I don't get it, whatever. See, that's exactly what I mean. We can do so much better than these subpar culinary abortions. I don't think that was the word he used, but the word's already gone, so I can't fix it. Abomination. Let's just say it was abomination, not abortions. What the fuck, Brave? What are you doing? Oh, I see what you mean. You mean the two of us should have a cook-off? What? No. Did you say something? I'm not listening because I'm so psyched about this cook-off. At this point, she looks insane. Like, look at that. At no point did I agree to. I've got a huge advantage, though, because I've cooked so many drugs. Oh, you think you've got the advantage, huh? I've been alive for centuries of culinary history. It's on. The two of them dash into the kitchen, ignoring all rules of law, school, and common decency as they commence cooking. Two celebrity chef judges appear to critique the challengers. I think they're both equally horrible, says the cruel British judge. I think they're both equally marvelous, says the overly nice British judge. Both judges turn to you. What do you think, tiebreaker judge? Whose meal truly is? The cat's pajamas. Yes, because the cat's pajamas is the measurement of which we hold ourselves. Leanne's because I think the glass jar of fresh human blood really goes with the parsley he sprinkled on top. Or Polly's because she literally just made a pair of pajamas for cats. Well, I really like this answer. I gotta go with my boo thing. But that's so funny! Fuck. Alright. Ha! Huh, in your face, Wolfgang suck! That would have been a better name for Sky. I'm not even a wolf! As a matter of fact, that would have been a na better name for you! Oh, what? Because I'm a vampire? Whoa! That totally would make sense! <laughs> no, I just meant because you suck. Well, this sucker just wowed the judges with my blood tartare. It's raw, organic, free-range blood, unethically sourced from a local, terrified human. <laughs> of course it is. And that parsley, farm to table. Or rather, farm to blood. I threw it in the blood. I like the color, especially it's known that... Actually, it's well known that nobody knows what parsley tastes like. And you preferably never will, because you certainly not... Because you're certainly not drinking it from any of that concoction. You tell Liam his prize for winning the cook-off is eating lunch alone with you. Yay? I guess? Ooh, I could go to, I could go to class. But that means that the little... The, okay, so this little girl, this cute little cat girl, she sells you shit. It's awesome. Do I want to buy something, though? Sometimes it helps with your stats. Am I, like... I'm trying to make a point not to look up what Liam, like, because there's certain stats and certain amount of hearts, where, which you get hearts from, like, uh, agreeable uh, conversations with the person you like. I'm trying not to look up what you need to have him win, because I want to legitimately try here for you guys to see if I can actually do it on my own. Fuck. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's go to the cat girl. Hey, stranger. It's been a while. I've missed you. It's okay. You can look at my stuff. Wink. Um. Uh, this would help with Liam a lot because I think it would be for smarts, which my smarts isn't bad. Uh, high school rep, cocaine. A tampon used by the former prime queen. This queen. This is actually a secret ending for Vera, I believe, but I don't need it because I haven't even talked to her once. Creativity, a sexy fake Latin accent, a blanket with two holes. This is for a secret ending for just about everybody. Uh, dragon heat. Uh, good lord, it's um. It's a raunchy novel, but this it also helps in random situations. Uh, this helps with boldness, I believe. I have no clue what this does. But everyone keeps calling me... Like, she keeps calling me a sick pervert every time I look at it, which I don't get it. It's a penguin mask. Whatever. Uh, really stupid sunglasses. I think that helps with fun. And a corpse. 
Um, guess I'll get the book. Yeah, it is for smarts. Sweet! Boom! I just went from 9 to 14. Yay? Didn't get to interact with Liam, though. I'm actually gonna cut this short and try to have one video, uh, one week for one video. Uh, yeah! We're slowly winning Liam's heart, I hope? Please? Um, Lord knows, this game is actually kinda difficult. Cause you gotta think about it. You don't usually have to think about dating sims. Like as hard as you have to do this. Oh good lord. Cause you're like in other dating sims you're like, oh clearly this is the right answer. Like, oh this girl likes cute things. Oh my gosh, I have to choose between a knife, a cupcake, or a napkin. Like I wonder what I should buy her. It's clearly the napkin. Have you seen the shit on her face? You need to wipe that shit off. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Brave out.